need peepers here. So, as Gary said, this is a humbling situation. I've I've spoken with general managers over the years, board of governors, but this is a first. And to look out to see this group, it's uh, it's certainly uh, inspiring and and, and 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 scary. Thank thanks, Gary. That was a very uh, <laughs> A nice introduction. Um, but sincerely, thank you for not only the kind words and for your leadership and guidance. Uh, yours and Shelley's friendship with myself and Heather over the years has been truly wonderful. I'm certainly humbled and filled with gratitude. I left Tilsonburg, Ontario for the Peterborough Peets when I was 17. And all I wanted to do was make the team. That's all I wanted to do and everything else was fine. Uh, the junior hockey, though, is great and has been great. The Memorial Cup, Stanley Cup, rubbing shoulders with the giants of the game over the past five, five decades. I think about all the general managers and coaches I played for, and one special man in particular, Roger Nielsen. He taught us and he taught me, uh, all those who are fortunate enough to play for him, so much about the game, about life lessons, uh, that I still carry to this day. Things like, I always use the word we, not I. Uh, treating everyone with the same respect. Regardless if they were a junior A player, an NHL star, or an eight-year-old kid at a summer hockey school. Everyone was the same to Roger. The importance of practicing the right way and focusing on the smallest details. And of course, the value of video, which he pioneered. I also think about the impact of over 250 players I was fortunate to have as teammates in the National Hockey League. The impact and friendship they had on me during my playing career, eight of who went on to be general managers in 18, who went on to become head coaches in the National Hockey League. I also had the privilege while coaching the Detroit Red Wings and the New York Rangers, over 220 players during that time, learning from all of them, 20 are in this uh, Hall of Fame. Playing, coaching through three decades, you learn so much. And hopefully, those experiences helped us make the game better through my years at the National Hockey League. So fortunate enough to play and coach, Gary gave me the opportunity then to contribute with the NHL. I remember when I first joined the NHL, the great Jimmy Gregory, who mentored so many in our league, including myself, told me while in hockey, he never worked a day in his life. Oh, it was fun. I, I had more than, there were some days that I didn't like being around, but uh, some news I delivered. I see a bunch of guys out here. Chris, you were one. Too many phone calls. <laughs> Jimmy was, was partially correct. It's great to have been in the National Hockey League, but there came a point we had to fix it. That was not easy. To accomplish good things, to get there, it's never easy when you're accomplishing things like that. Gary, Bill Daly and their group, fix the game off the ice, we had to do our part on the ice. The game was broken on the ice, the hooking, the holding, the interference. It was no fun for players to play the game. Uh, fans lost interest in the game. When their team was down, they knew there was little chance of a comeback. In short, the game was broken, and the player with skill was completely neutralized. Well, part of the reason I'm being honored with the induction to the Hockey Hall of Fame, uh, so many players, coaches, GMs, owners, on-ice officials, league associates, all helped contribute to that, that honor. We all met dozens of times 20 years ago, after the 0405 season, and we observed and participated in numerous on-ice sessions to test rules, and to this day, we continue to monitor the game, focusing on rewarding skill, and offense, ensuring the game of hockey remains great for our fans, but more important, to make it fun for players to play, so every kid who aspires, who dreams of being the next Johnny Hockey, they can do so. Thank you to all the GMs, coaches, and players who I've worked with over, over, over 25 years at the National Hockey League. Thank you to Mike Murphy, Kelly Reset, Chris King, Davey Nechebarrieta, Stephen Walkham, and all the great people at the National Hockey League who certainly contribute 
to this honor that I'm sharing and special mention to Jimmy Gregory and E.J. McGuire, two great individuals that have passed on. Finally, Heather, Lauren, Courtney, and Gregory, this hockey journey could not have been possible without your love and support. You've sacrificed so much so I could live out my dream as a player and a coach and an NHL administrator. Thank you. I share this honor with the four of you, my five grandchildren, Xander, Reese, Finn, Noah, and Katarina. Thank you very much.